In this video, we will show you how to use combine and break apart. The combine operation combines two separate objects into one with common attributes. Just select the objects, right click and use the combine option. The objects become one with the same color and the same stitch type. And as you can see, the objects are connected with a jump stitch. Here you may see a jump stitch, but this won't actually be on the final design. You will understand why by the end of this video. Combine option is mainly used in order to reduce color changes and production time. These leaves are all separate objects. They have two different colors and this leads into excessive color changes. If you combine them, the new object will have only one color and it will be embroidered at once. The new object will have the attributes of the last selected object, the one that bears the magenta outline. So now all the leaves have this darker green color. Likewise, the other set of leaves gets the lighter green because upon selection, the last selected object had this light green color. Combined objects that are not overlapping are connected with a jump stitch between them. So whenever you see two objects far away from each other connected with jump stitch, you will know that they are combined. Here you may see a jump stitch, but this won't actually be on the final design. You will understand why by the end of this video. Let's try to combine these shapes. If you combine objects that are overlapping, a hole is created in place of the common part. The combined object has the attributes of the star shape. So now if you select them in the opposite order, the combined object will have the attributes of the circle. Using this functionality, you can very easily create objects with holes. Finally, always have in mind that you can separate combined objects if you prefer to. The combined object is separated into its subparts, only that now the produced objects retain the properties of the combined object, not those of the original objects. Therefore, if you accidentally combine some objects, you need to use undo so that they retain their original properties. Otherwise, if you use break apart, they will lose their initial properties. At this point, we need to refer to the optimize options for combining objects. As we previously said, the combined objects are connected with a jump stitch. In this case, the jump stitch is about 10 millimeters. Using optimizer options, you can set the trimming distance into whatever value you want. Now that the trimming distance is set to 5 mm, the jump stitch should be removed. You can also define if there are to be no thread trims inside the combined objects. So if you switch back to the design, you can still see the jump stitch, but this is okay, it won't be stitched out eventually. To see the final design with the optimizations applied, you need to use slow redraw. 